Today in the news, we got some APU sweetness and some Zen 4. What's up guys, I'm Snows in the new space and I'm here live, I'm not a cat. Let's get started with AMD. I think I speak for all APU lovers when I say that I'm tired of waiting. The last APU we could buy on its own from the company was the 3400G. And let's be real, by today's standard, it's not the greatest. It's only a quad core CPU, it's still based on the Zen Plus architecture, and its Vega graphics aren't as optimized as the newer versions found on current laptops. Which brings us to the 4000G series of APUs. While it's a great lineup, it has two problems. One, it's technically a generation behind in terms of CPU cores with its Zen 2 based cores. And two, well, you can't buy one since it's exclusive to OEMs. And now we got our first sighting of the 5000G series with the 5750G. I know the name is blurred out, but the OP did confirm that it was a 5750G. While replying to people, he also revealed some specs for the APU. It's of course a Ryzen 7, so it gets eight cores and 16 threads, and it would have a base clock of 3.8 gigahertz and can boost all the way up to 4.75 gigahertz on all cores. As for the graphics, it's still the same as the 4750G with eight Vega CUs, but we don't have any kind of clock speed information. But that's not why the CPU is great. Just like the 4000G series, it should be monolithic, which means it would cut down severely on the latency and allow for higher infinity fabric clocks. According to the OP, some engineering samples can be overclocked all the way up to 2500 megahertz on the infinity fabric, while his sample came stock at 2200 megahertz. That's crazy high, even when compared to Renoir. Now, this specific model he got is a Ryzen Pro APU. Is that a sign that it's going to be an OEM only lineup? Maybe, personally, I hope not. And as with anything on chip hell, make sure that uh, you take that dose of salt with you. Also with AMD, let's get deeper into the rumor game. Zen 3 just came out and people are already talking about Zen 4 like it's the gold standard. The only thing we know for sure is that AMD is going to be using the five nanometer process for that specific generation. As for the rumor, apparently an engineering sample of Genoa, that's Zen 4, but on the Epic platform, that engineering sample was 29% faster than a Milan Epic processor at the same clock speed and core count. That essentially means that from Zen 3 to Zen 4, AMD is squeezing out a 29% IPC improvement. That would be the biggest leap from the Zen generations, aside from, of course, from Excavator to Zen. As is, we don't know when AMD will announce it, but with Milan having just made an appearance in January and the release of Zen 3 late last year, I don't expect AMD to come out with something until early 2022. By the way, if you've heard a rumor about a 40% increase in performance about Zen 4, know that this was just the author's prediction and not based on the information that he gathered, that he leaked. Moving on, let's talk about mining. Now I know the miners are taking away all of our precious GPUs from the retailers, making it really hard to buy one right now. But I gotta take a second here to admit that I'm pretty impressed by their craftiness. Pictures of mining farms are making their rounds around the internet, and those farms are using freaking laptops. This looks insane. Sometimes they're stacked, sometimes they're upside down for airflow, I guess. I mean, it looks like a sweatshop where the kids are the laptops. Lastly, in the news, we got Intel. For once, we're not talking about Rocket Lake or Alder Lake S. We're not talking about some unobtainium style GPU like the glued together monster that Raja showed us last week. We're talking about XEHPG, Intel's mainstream consumer high-end GPU. Once again, from Raja, we got an image. This is a frame from an upcoming 3D Mark benchmark that focuses on mesh shaders. It's nothing special, but it does tell us that Intel is now testing their HPG GPUs. Oh, and in case you don't understand why in the intro there was a cat face filter, check out the link of the day down below. It's pretty hilarious. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it for the catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here. Subscribe to the channel, stay frosty my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Well, you'll get a tour of the facility, don't worry.